Hi guys, welcome to the next section, Building Realistic Images from Text. In this section, we will introduce Stack GAN. We will then discover cross-domain relationships with Disco GAN. After that, we will generate handbags from edges with PyTorch. Finally, we will see gender transformation using PyTorch. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with introduction to Stack GAN. In this video, we're going to take a look at conditional augmentation. After that, we will learn how to synthesize images from text using TensorFlow. Synthesizing photorealistic images from text is a challenging problem in computer vision and has a tremendous practical application. The problem of generating images from text can be decomposed into two manageable subproblems using Stack GAN. In this approach, we stack two stages of the generative network based on certain conditions to achieve the challenging task of realistic image generation from text input. Here are some concepts and notation defined before diving into the model architecture and implementation details. I.O. is for the original image. T is for text description and embedding. Mu of T is mean of text embedding. Submission of T is diagonal covariance matrix of text embedding. P data is real data distribution. PZ is Gaussian distribution of noise. Now, let's see conditional augmentation. In conditional GAN, both the generator and discriminator network receive additional conditioning variables, C to yield G of Z, C and D of X, C. It helps the generator to generate images conditioned on variable C. The conditioning augmentation yields more training pairs given a small number of image text pairs. It is useful for modeling text-to-image translation, as the same sentence usually maps to objects with various appearances. The textual description is first converted to text embedding, T, by encoding through an encoder, and then transformed non-linearly using a char CNN RNN model to create conditioning latent variables as the input of a stage one generator network. Since the latent space for text embedding is usually high dimensional, to mitigate the problem of discontinuity and latent data manifold with a limited amount of data, a conditioning augmentation technique is applied to produce additional conditioning variable sampled from a Gaussian distribution. In stage one, the GAN network learns generating rough shapes and basic colors for creating objects conditioned on textual description and generating background regions from random noise sampled from prior distribution. The low resolution coarse images generated in this stage might not look real because they have some defects such as object shape distortion, missing object parts, and so on. In the equation, GAN trains the discriminator D0 and the generator G0. In stage two, the GAN network only focuses on drawing details and rectifying defects in low resolution images generated from stage one to generate high resolution realistic images conditioned on textual description. The stage two GAN alternatively trains the discriminator D that maximizes the loss and generator G that minimizes the loss conditioned on the result of low resolution and the Gaussian latent variable. Let us implement the code to synthesize realistic images from text and produce mind-blowing results. First, we will clone the Git repository. Once cloning is done, we will change the directory to stack GAN. After that, we will install some packages using the pip command. Next, we will download the pre-processed char CNN RNN text embedding bird models from this website using the Python Google Drive download.py file with this command. This may take some time. The downloading is completed. We can move further with the next command. Now, we will extract the downloaded file using the unzip command. After that, we will download the bird's image data from Caltech UCSD using wget. It will take some time. We will then extract the downloaded bird's image data. 
We will now do pre-processing on the images to split into training and test sets and then save the images in pickle format. Further, we will download the pre-trained char CNN RNN text embedding model from this website and save it to the models slash directory using this command. It will take a while. Till that time, you can have a cup of coffee. We will also download the char CNN RNN text encoder for birds from this website and save it under the models slash text encoder directory. Let's run it. Downloading may require some more minutes. The downloading is completed. We can move further with the next command. Next, we can check that we have added some sentences to example captions dot text file like this to generate some exciting images of birds. The example captions dot text file is present in birds file under the data folder. Finally, we will execute the birds demo.sh file under the demo directory to generate realistic bird images from the text description given in the example captions.txt file. Now, the generated images will be saved as you can see here. Voila! You have now generated impressive bird images from the textual description. Play with your own sentences to describe birds and visually verify the results with the description. In this video, We've looked at Introduction to Stack GAN.